Big things are happening at Starbase, and you won't want to miss this. SpaceX is preparing to unveil a game-changing upgrade that could completely transform the future of Starship. Get ready to meet the Gigabay, a massive new structure that's set to redefine SpaceX's path to Mars and beyond. But that's not all. While Gigabay takes center stage, there's plenty of action happening in other areas too. The launch pad is undergoing critical repairs in preparation for the next major flight, and the ISS just pulled off two dramatic space debris dodges in a single week. So much is unfolding right now, so let's dive in and explore the latest breakthroughs in space exploration together. Let's start with the big one, the Gigabay. Over the past year, Starbase has been undergoing massive upgrades, preparing for the next generation of Starship production. From the rise of twin launch towers to expanded flame trench testing systems, the site has transformed into a cutting-edge hub for space engineering. But while all eyes are on the launch pad, the real magic happens where Starships are built. The production site has undergone incredible changes, with older facilities like Mid Bay and Low Bay being replaced by Mega Bay 2 and the impressive Star Factory. Yet there's one structure at Starbase that still feels out of place, the High Bay. Once the cornerstone of Starship development, the High Bay is now the smallest major facility. And as SpaceX aims for faster Starship production, it's clear the High Bay's time is up. Enter the Giga Bay. Recently, SpaceX announced plans for this next-level structure and even began recruiting engineers to bring it to life. The name alone, Giga Bay, evokes the sheer scale of what's coming. It's inspired by Tesla's Gigafactories, but reimagined for rockets. SpaceX has confirmed that the Giga Bay will play a crucial role in Starship's next phase. It will support new vehicle builds, reflight refurbishments, and handle the increasing launch frequency as we move toward missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. But how big is this thing going to be? Let's break it down. The high bay currently stands at 81 meters, housing up to three or four starships at a time. Meanwhile, Mega Bay 1 and 2 can handle larger volumes, up to five boosters, with Mega Bay 2 even tackling stacking and engine installation. But Giga Bay needs to do even more. Elon Musk has hinted that future Starship versions, like V2 and V3, will push the size limits even further. So Giga Bay could exceed 100 meters, possibly reaching 110 meters or more, to accommodate these larger prototypes and increased production demands. What do you think? How big do you think Giga Bay will be? Let me know your predictions in the comments below. Beyond its height, Giga Bay's footprint will be enormous. As the Star Factory ramps up output, SpaceX will need a larger facility to handle stacking, stage integration, and post-flight refurbishments. Some have speculated that Giga Bay could even handle full Starship stacks, but that's more likely to remain the launch pad's job. Still, the sheer scale of Giga Bay will mark a new era for Starbase. So, when can we expect to see this massive structure rise? If all goes according to plan, demolition of the high bay could begin as early as next year, clearing the way for construction to begin mid-2025. It's bittersweet to say goodbye to high bay, which played such a critical role in the early Starship program. But the future is looking incredibly bright. From High Bay to Giga Bay, Starbase is leveling up in a way that's truly exciting. Now let's shift gears and talk about what's going on at the launch pad. After the recent Starship Flight 6, repairs are in full swing, with a special focus on the communication systems atop the launch tower. After several days of work, the system is back online and it looks like SpaceX has made some significant upgrades to improve its reliability. Down at ground level, the chopstick arms and ship quick disconnect systems are undergoing rigorous testing. A new feature has caught everyone's attention. Sensor-like panels have been added to one of the chopstick arms. These could be crucial for perfecting booster catches during Flight 7, 
and they're giving us a sneak peek at what's to come. Meanwhile, the orbital launch mount remains in excellent condition, with the water deluge system continuing to perform flawlessly. All of this points to SpaceX being on track for Flight 7, scheduled for January 2025. Hardware testing could begin as early as mid-December, ramping up excitement as the next big launch approaches. But that's not all. Let's take a look above Earth, where the ISS just pulled off not one, but two space debris collision avoidance maneuvers in just a single week. On November 25th, the Russian Progress 89 spacecraft fired its thrusters for three and a half minutes, lifting the station by 500 meters to avoid a fragment of a defunct satellite. And just days earlier, another maneuver was executed to dodge debris from a 2015 satellite breakup. This surge in debris avoidance maneuvers highlights a growing issue, space junk. With over 10,000 active satellites in orbit, more than half belonging to SpaceX's Starlink, the risk of collisions has never been higher. And that's not even counting the estimated 130 million smaller fragments floating around up there. The ISS, which is aging and increasingly vulnerable, has to stay agile to avoid disaster. As Russia plans to step back from its ISS commitments, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft will play an even bigger role in ensuring station safety and functionality. Addressing the space junk problem is becoming an urgent matter. While experimental solutions are in development, a comprehensive global effort is needed to tackle this growing challenge. SpaceX's Starship, with its massive payload capacity, could one day lead large-scale cleanup missions. It's just another reason why Starship is so much more than a Moon and Mars vehicle. It's a spacecraft that could change the way we think about sustainable space exploration. So, there you have it. Space pioneers! From the groundbreaking Geiga Bay to the ongoing upgrades at Starbase and the ISS's daring maneuvers, the future of space exploration is unfolding right before our eyes. What excites you most about these developments? SpaceX's Giga Bay isn't just an upgrade, it's a game-changing leap into the future of space exploration. This monumental facility will pave the way for faster, more efficient Starship production, fueling missions that could take us to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. From replacing the iconic High Bay to introducing groundbreaking innovations at Starbase, the Geiga Bay represents the next phase of SpaceX's relentless push toward making humanity a multi-planetary species. With these exciting developments, one thing is clear. The road ahead for Starship and SpaceX is nothing short of extraordinary. The Geiga Bay is more than just a structure. It's a symbol of the ambition and ingenuity driving the future of space exploration. Now here's the big question for all of you. What do you think the Geiga Bay's impact will be on Starship's journey to Mars and beyond? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, keep dreaming big, because the stars are just the beginning. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.